What's up, everyone? Thanks so much for tuning in. This is your girl, Shadi Renee, and I appreciate y'all for watching. We're going to talk about my Rose Relief Serum, how I package and ship them. Um, I had to do a lot of extensive research on what was the best method for me. And with it being an oil and a pretty, pretty glass bottle, it comes with a lot. So I've already put my secret ingredients <laughs> For my rose leaf serum, my rose petals, and my peppermint leaves inside of the bottle. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my clear label and I like to line it up with the middle. So wherever the middle is, I'm just going to stick it right on here until I get bottles of course with the label already imprinted on it. This is what I use. Now I'm going to take my envelope that I would normally package with. This is an eight by four inch. Sometimes I use a five by nine, but this is just what I have already. This is a rose gold um, label. You can get this, I mean a label holder. You can get this from um, Etsy, Amazon, I found that Etsy was a little bit cheaper, so that's what I've been using. I also um, package a small thank you note with a discount code on it for my for the people that purchase something. It has a 10% discount code on here and just says thank you for your purchase and where you can find my product, which is shotatrenee.com. And then I have my oil that's already labeled. So sometimes things happen in packaging where it makes it to the person's destination and it might leak or the bottle might break. So you want to always wrap your bottles in something, either bubble wrap or um, plastic. Today I'm going to use plastic. So here's an example of plastic to make sure that if it does break, it doesn't get all over everything else that you have in the package. What I'm going to do is just take it by the top and wrap it. I've sent over 200 of these out and like I said mistakes do happen so I always wrap liquids and then here's an example of a um, bubble wrap and you can literally just slide this inside I'll go ahead and put it inside for extra extra protection and I think you can find this on like a Alibaba or AliExpress, one of them. And it just drops in. So until I get my boxes and everything, this is what I do. And then I always use a padded poly mailer. So I just put my Rosalie serum, my thank you note. And then we're going to jump into how much it weighs and uh, how to use ShipStation. I have a website and my website is shotirene.com, but I um, use one of the apps called ShipStation in order to ship my items. Um, I like ShipStation. It's very inexpensive. I found that some of them can be a little bit high, especially for small business owners. With ShipStation, I think the first, if you want to do zero to 50 orders shipped out with using their platform, it was only like $9 a month. Since then, I've upgraded to the next next package and I think it was maybe $29 for up to 500 orders for the month. So that's really good for me. Um, like I said, I'm a small business, but I like it because especially with everything going on with the COVID-19 coronavirus, I don't have to wait in line in order to um, ship my items. I literally am going to print out my label with my own printer, um, my home printer. I haven't upgraded yet to any of the other um, fancy printing stations, which I do want to because I know there's some good benefits for it. Like um, I have to keep constantly buying ink. And when I buy the ink, you know, that adds to my production costs and I want to keep that as low as possible. As a small business owner, 
you have to keep track of everything that you spend money on and ink can be very expensive <laughs> it sounds like a, not a lot but it is um, eighty dollars just for color and black ink for a canon printer is excessive so um but i use my printer for the um packing slip and the label so i'm gonna go straight into um, we're going to talk a little bit about measurement first, and then we're going to go into the ShipStation app. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh my item. I've already put it on ounces. Um, I like to measure it in ounces. And this is how you change your unit number. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it on ounces. It's already um, on tear. So, you know, you always want to start with zero before jumping into measuring anything so that it does not affect what you're going to be shipping out. And then, like I said, I've already packaged everything up. So I'm just going to lay it there. And I already know that it's five, but I'm just showing you all. And this is with the oil and everything else included. So we have five ounces. Now we're gonna to move to the ShipStation app. So this is how the ShipStation app looks. I have a few orders that I need to go ahead and fill, but I noticed that one person has indeed purchased just the Rose Relief Serum. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that person. I'm gonna come over here and my default location has already been set. It's set up as soon as you get ready to um, set up your account with ShipStation. So what I'm gonna do is leave it at my default um, location and that is actually your return address. So you wanna make sure that you put that for your return address. And mine is a PO box and um, it's located near my salon. So I'm gonna go in here, it says wait. This is in ounces, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and enter five because five is what we measured the ounces to be. I'm gonna go to service and I'm gonna use the USPS first class mail. Um, this service is actually really good because it's the most inexpensive, but it has no protection if something happens unless you put insurance versus priority mail might be a little higher, but you get tracking and you get $50 of insurance included i've had some issues with first class mail but um i just feel like when people are purchasing something so small it's okay to use the first class mail and if i have to replace it i go ahead and replace it myself instead of going through the system with the post office and trying to get them to replace it so i always click package and then once you click package, you see the rate comes up based off of their location and the delivery time is two days. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna show you how it looks with priority mail. The rate will change to $7.02 versus the previous amount because of it having that insurance and stuff already included with the, um, with the priority mail. And the delivery time also changed to one day versus two days. So it's a little bit faster because it gets pushed through the system and you pay a lot more. But for me, like I said, I usually do the first class mail, half the price in shipping. And that way when I'm doing like specials where I say free shipping and stuff, this is the option that I'm going to use. You can still do um, a delivery confirmation and a signature confirmation, and these also change the rates. So let's see, with delivery confirmation, it changes it to, oh, it keeps it the same, but the signature confirmation on this one actually goes up $2, about $2. And then you can also add insurance if you want, but I'm just gonna do delivery confirmation for now, and that includes tracking. So once you've done that, Basically, all you have to do is create your label. And then once the label is created, 
Sorry, I know my light is like in y'all's glare. Once the label is created, it'll take you to this screen. And all of your information from previous is right here. It already says five ounces, USPS first class mail, and it's a package with delivery confirmation, no insurance. And then on this side, it says how much the item is, how much the confirmation costs, and what the required balance is. So the total required is $3.21. I already had a balance on here of $3.46. Um, because as you get ready to purchase um, more um, your stamps, your postage, I usually try to buy like $40 or so more. So if I was in a negative, I would just enter in $20, right? And then it would say, I would get an email from stamps.com and it would say, you just purchased $20 worth of stamps, which is postage, so that you do not have to wait in line. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase $20 so that my resulting balance will be $20.25 after I ship this item. So then you, you can create a test label so that you can view it, or you can go ahead and create the label and it will print it out. I'm gonna go ahead and print the print the label. So if you've seen that pop up, it said sent to printer. So in your settings for ShipStation, you can go ahead and print two labels on each form. This is sticker paper from Avery Labels. Um, but if this was a regular printed sheet, all you would do is cut it down the middle and tape it to your package. Um, but because I have it set where it prints on this sticker paper, all I'm gonna do is pull it off. This is sticker and then Paste it onto my package. I got this sticker paper from Staples and it literally says shipping label printer. This is the Avery shipping labels number 5126. And that's the template that is compatible with ShipStation so that you can get two labels per, um, per, per print. Like I said, you do not have to make this investment. Me with having over 100 orders sometimes. This one has 200 labels, 100 sheets. So with 100 sheets, I can make 200 labels out of this. And as you can see, this box is empty, so I need to go refill. And all you do is upload it into, you just put it in your regular Canon printer. I have a like Canon printer from Walmart, like nothing fancy. I'll drop the link to the printer below so that you can see it. But yeah, so that prints two different types. Now, when you're printing on regular paper, however, you can go ahead and print, it'll print like, your label here, you'll cut that off and then use regular tape, tape it onto your package. And then there's an option if you're not using sticker paper, the Avery label paper, to print your um, packing slip so that the person will know what exactly it is that they're getting, what did they order, how much was it, that kind of stuff. And um, that's also something that you'll put inside of your, uh, of your package but like i said because i already had my printer label set up where it was going to print two labels because once you get a lot of orders you can start printing literally every um so if you have four orders you can print four labels at one time on your avery printer i do want to upgrade to something more professional that prints out 100 labels in two minutes 
but right now this is how i've been going with my business and it's been doing really well for me um just using the sticker paper and a printer so now that this one is all the way done all i do take this take the tape off of this sticky part and seal it up and then I'm done with it. I can I can literally walk into the post office and ship this item without having to stand in line and even talk to anyone. And it all it automatically gives you a tracking number, which is really great because the um like the ship station keeps track of everything. And then all you have to do is um take a picture of your barcode from your um from the post office, or you can manual entry. It into your Wix app and it will pretty much notify your client or your customer hey your package is on the way and here's the tracking information so that's what I'll get ready to do but besides that this is how I package and ship my Rosa Leaf Serum you can find it on ShadeRenee.com you can find it on Amazon at Shade Renee Beauty my store and you can also find it on Etsy now so I'm on all different platforms trying to get my product out there so that everyone can see it and um, I'm looking forward to expanding and growing my business and I appreciate you all for watching so far in this video I know it's kind of lengthy but I really wanted to give a lot of detail and um, you can follow me on Instagram at Shade Renee Beauty and Shade Renee I'll drop all those links below and uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.